Starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Well, it's hard to say, Timmy. Depends on how much moisture is left in the soil, the humidity level, and the crop resilience. But look at our irrigation ditch. There's barely a trickle of water left. You know, it's this stoppage in our water supply that's got me worried. I've been trying to figure out the cause for days. Well, come on. Let's check again, and we'll go all the way, huh? Sure, Dad. I'll be right back. All right. be more than you think. Come on, I'll take a look. Do they really do that themselves? I mean, they're so small. Yeah, but they're fast and industrious. They're just about the best engineers in the world, Timmy. You see what that dam does? It makes a pond. No, it's damming up our water. The water we aren't getting. What are you going to do with the beavers? Beavers are useful animals in the right place. We're just going to break up their dam and make a move. I'll go back and get some tools, huh? beavers too, but the water comes first. all we need this time of year. Well, it's a good thing Lassie found them out so we could do something about it. But don't worry, Mom. They'll be gone tonight. Oh? The beavers told you that? No, Dad did. Well, sure. Jimmy and I served them notice by breaking up their dam, didn't we? <laughs> oh, hello, girl. Glad you remembered us. She's mad, because we're making the beavers move. Oh. Well, Lassie, that's too bad.
Well, will you look at that? You said we'd be gone. <laughs> My mistake, son. Do we have to break down the dam again? No, oh, that's no good. They'd only rebuild it overnight. Well, beats me. Better get some branches, about like this, and I'll get some chicken wire. We'll trap the beavers, all right? Okay, Dad. Put it down. Well, I'm taking those sticks to Dad. Those beavers are trespassing on our land. Hi, Paul. Jimmy. Oh, hi, Al. Hi, Mr. Livermore. Beavers, huh? Wondering what happened to all my water. <laughs> that makes two of us. You think these things will work? No reason why they shouldn't. What about that dam? Want me to bust it up? We've already done that. But the beavers just put it back together. You should have used dynamite, Paul. Well, for Timmy's sake, let me do it my way, Al. We'll set the traps when it gets dark, all over the dam. Then in the morning, we'll pick up the beavers and we'll take them to the fish and game department. Suits me. They're on your property. Don't forget, I've got my water rights. Well, don't worry. We'll get rid of them. It's better. How many babies you think we got, Dad? All of them, I hope. We'll soon know. that. Now they've chewed up our traps. <sighs> We're in trouble, Timmy. Is there anything else we can do, Dad? I've only got one more idea, but I've got to go to Calverton. You want to come with me? No, thanks. I'll stay here. All right. I sure hope Dad's plan works, girl. He's worried. Morning, Timmy. Hi. We didn't catch any beavers. I see. Where's your dad? Oh, he just left. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll see him later then. You tell him I want to talk to him. Yes, sir, I'll tell him. The crops need water bad. So do yours. Well, he's doing all he can. Not enough, son. Not enough. I'm afraid those beavers are going to have to be destroyed. Lassie, they've just got to move to a new home. And I'm going to make them do it myself. And this time, I'm going to stand guard and make sure they don't rebuild it. And you're going to help me.
Can you manage that? No, it's all right, dear. You. You're, you're soaking wet. Well, I tried to break down the beaver dam. Timmy, I don't want you to go near that dam again without me. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You better get inside and get some dry clothes on, but fast. Oh, hi, Al. Paul, those beavers and that dam have got to go. Agreed. That's why I got those Bailey tramps. Do you really think these will work? Why, sure. Ed Washburn says if they don't do the trick, I'll get my money back. You mind if I help you set them? Of course not. Come on, I'd welcome help. Sorry, Al. That won't put any water in the ditches. That's for sure. Well, let's go back to the house and call the fish and game department and let them handle it. I say let's stop wasting our time and go get our rifles and finish this job. No, Al. We can do that later. It's the crops I'm worried about, Paul. Not the beavers. You want me to do it for you? I'm used to fighting my own battles. Come on, let's go. Sir, I'll, uh, I'll do that. Thank you very much. Well, they can't send a man down right now. They've got their hands full helping the farmers who were hit by the big fire up north. Look, Al, I'll try the Bailey traps again, and we'll keep Lassie in the house. Oh, forget it, Paul. By now, those beavers are so trap-wise, they'll never go near them. Well, if the traps won't work, what'll we do? I'll tell you what we'll do, Ruth. We'll shoot the beavers. But I told you this morning, we can always do that. Oh, sure. In the meantime, we lose all of our crops. No, Paul, no. I've been very patient up to now, but no more. I've got my water rights, and I aim to defend them with my rifle. Not on my property. Oh, what's the matter with him, Ruth? Why don't you tell him he's wrong? I let Paul make his own decisions. Look, I'm dead set against killing animals unless it's absolutely necessary. Now, one more night can't make any difference. Let me get this straight. If you can trap all of the beavers tonight, fine. If you can't... Well, then we'll shoot them or dynamite the dam. Anything you want. Good enough. So long. Now, 
of strange, isn't it? A few little beavers can be such a problem. You think they'll go into the traps? Oh, your guess is as good as mine. But we'll know in the morning. Now, those beavers have got to go all right, but for Timmy's sake, I want to give those animals one more chance to get away alive. I know you do. That's why we love you so. Thank you, dear. It's always nice to hear that. Stop her. She wouldn't listen, Dad. I better go get her. I don't want her on the loose with my trap set. Can I go with you? Oh, no, young man. You're going to go back to bed. Dad, please, Mom. Ruth, you know, he won't sleep until Lassie's back. All right. Go on, Timmy. Sure was a close call. Timmy. Yes, Dad? Do you see what I see? Come on, girl. We got him, Dad. We caught the beavers. Yeah, that must have happened when they ran away from the wolves and all the noise. Just kept running right into our traps. Well, let's take him home, son. I'll go with you when you turn him in. Sure, you and Lassie, too. Now, don't worry, girl. Nobody's gonna hurt your beavers. Your beavers are only moving. Come on, Timmy. Take this end out. Be careful. <laughs> 